Welcome back everyone for today's reading and English language arts lesson. We're going to be covering story elements, um, the basics of story elements, what they are and how to identify them as we are reading a book or a short story. So story elements are part of our unit on reading comprehension. When we um, engage in good reading comprehension, that means we are not only reading the story accurately, and um, quickly, but we are also taking in important information and digesting it and analyzing it as we are reading so that we can answer literal questions such as who, what, when, where, why, as well as inferential questions that ask us to think more deeply about the text, such as how, um, again, why questions. Uh, it's more like process questions, right, that, that really the answer isn't immediately found in the text. You kind of have to interpret the text. Okay, so let's go over story elements. Well, firstly, what are story elements? Well, pretty simple. Story elements are basically the building blocks of a story. They describe the essential components that make up a story or a novel or whatever you're, um, you're talking about. We usually think of story elements when we're thinking of like fairy tales, right? That's a, that's a good way to think of story elements. Um, some of the first books and um, stories that you'll hear growing up are of fairy tales and maybe Disney movies and things like that. And so some story elements that make up a story include characters, setting, the plot. And when you think of the plot, the plot is basically what happens in the story. It includes key details, the problem, what's the main issue or conflict in the story, as well as the solution, how is the problem solved? The theme, and there's, there's several others, but these are the main um, story elements blocks that we're gonna talk about today. And so identi identifying story elements is critical to comprehending or understanding the story, okay? If you can identify the plot, then do you understand the story? If you can't tell me what the problem is and how they solve it, if you don't know who um, is in the story, who the characters are, can you talk about the story really? No, you can't, right? You need to be able to identify who's involved, where it took place, what's going on, how they solve it, and what's the lesson or message of the story. So let's talk about individual, these um, components of story elements. All right, like I said earlier, story elements, the main ones are character, setting, the plot, which includes problem, solution, key details, as well as the theme. So this slide right here just outlines what those story elements are, and I'm gonna go into greater detail right now. All right, characters. So characters as a story element are the individuals human or otherwise, they can include animals or objects that exhibit human-like features or emotions that are involved in the story, okay? So typically when you have your characters, there's a main character. They're also called the protagonist. It's who the story is all about and a lot of the action centers around that person, all right? So if you think of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Snow White would be the protagonist. She's the main character. Even though there's a lot of side characters in that story, she's the one that most of the action centers on, okay? The antagonist is also a main character, but they're actually the bad guy. They're someone who is causing or helping to cause problems in the story. So if we go back to our Snow White and the Seven Dwarves um, reference, the evil queen would be the antagonist. She is someone who is causing the problems. She wants to um, hunt down Snow White because she's the fairest of them all. And so um, when you think antagonist, think of the bad guy. Protagonist is like the good guy, the main person, all right? The setting. The setting is super simple. It is where and when a story takes place. The location and time. It could be the date or the time of day that a story takes place. So the setting can be a real place and it can also be an imaginary location. So in a fairy tale, right? They're not gonna use a real setting. They're gonna use an imaginary one. A long time ago um, in a kingdom far, far away, right? 
The setting can also change throughout a story. So you can have multiple settings. It might start in a forest and end in a castle. Um, you might have a bunch of different settings. If you think of Alice in Wonderland, she goes to a bunch of different places, right? When she's in her dream state. So just be mindful of setting and the fact that it can change. It's not solely in one place, all right? Stories take place um, across a variety of locations and times. All right, the plot. This is perhaps one of the most important for reading comprehension because the plot is, is what's going on in the story, okay? It's what happens. And the plot is a lot like a roller coaster. So it includes the problem. So it's the main issue in the story or book that needs to be solved or addressed. It includes key details, which are important events in the story that outline how characters grow and change, as well as a solution, how the problem is solved or addressed. And it's usually towards the end of the story that you figure out the solution. All right, so if you think about a roller coaster, you're going up, up, up. That's like the key details leading to the main problem or the climax of the story, right? The main event and then going down the roller coaster, that'd be the solution, how we solve or address the problem. So that is plot. Plot is basically what the story is all about. It's what's going on, all right? And the last one that we're gonna talk about today is theme. So theme can be confusing because a lot of times the author or who wrote the story doesn't say the theme outright. So this is something that you are going to have to infer or decide based upon information from the story. So the theme is basically the main message or lesson that the author wants you to take away from the story. So when you think of theme, I want you to think of the big idea that's seen throughout the story in the characters, the setting, and the plot. So you can ask yourself the following questions. What did the characters learn through the course of the story? How did the characters grow? How did they change? Did their character traits stay the same throughout the whole story? Or did they slowly modify and adapt their character traits or their personality to realize that what they were doing before was maybe wrong or it was causing them problems, okay? So some common themes from stories, especially fairy tales and short stories are gonna be love and friendship, courage or bravery, good versus evil, honesty, perseverance, which is trying hard even when things are really challenging and you don't feel like you have the, the energy or the confidence to do it. And also family, right? Um, how we, we learn and grow to love one another in our, our, our friendships and our families. So these are common themes. Um, and again, the theme will not always be stated outright. It's something that you have to think about from the beginning of the story to the end. So you look at the plot and you look at the characters and you decide what, what did they learn at the end of the story, okay? Or how did they grow? All right, we are gonna talk about this more in class today, so I will see you then. Take care, everyone.